Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we'll be doing this old baby setup. And for the centerpieces, if you have not watched that video already, I do have a video on how I create my centerpieces. I will try to link in the description box along with the colors that I use for this setup. So I already knew that I'll be working on this gold frame. I tied those, that cluster directly to the frame. Um, this setup, I was working with an event planner for the first time. We actually had two events this day, and we had an hour set up for both events. So, this setup was actually done within 40 minutes, you guys. Do you believe me? It was done in 40 minutes. I had the proof. It's, I have the proof. <laughs> it took me 40 minutes. Um, I'm adding on the clusters, and I'm adding on some of the clusters that I already had them tied together. So, I may have two clusters tied together, and some of them I didn't, like the ones I'm adding on now. I just had them out. And that was a cluster of eight that I just added. And before, that was a cluster of six right next to it that I'm twisting around playing with. So I go back and forth between eight and six. It all depends on where I'm adding it. And if I think it needs, like, super thickness or if I just think it needs, like, a quad, a, a cluster of six. <laughs> like, something not so full, more structure. Because I think a six is more structure. Give you that straight look where an eight is a little bit more fuller. So the ones I just added on the pole... I just twisted on there and I didn't attach to the new underneath it because I was twisting it on the pole and I just pushed it down. I don't, I didn't think it needed. So I just ended up twisting them around the pole. Anything I added on the pole, I didn't attach it. When I say attach, I mean like tie it next to night to the cluster underneath it. I just twisted it around the pole and left it there. So that's me adding on. And all of those are pretty much clusters of eight balloons that I'm adding around the frame. I think I ended up adding a cluster of six. Um, that one. Did I leave that there? No, I think I ended up getting a cluster of eight and then adding that on instead. And I, I believe I did a six after that though. But all of those are clusters of eight right now. So that's another cluster of eight balloons. And I think I ended it with a cluster of six. You guys will see that later. So I'm adding, I want to create some kind of fullness on the right side. So I'm going to flare that out. Um, I'm tying, if you guys don't know, I tie all my balloons neck to neck. And if I can't tie it neck to neck because of, you know, maybe I don't have enough neck or just my hands tired, then I would grab a 260, which I keep most of the time in my pockets. <laughs> when I go on site, the first thing I do, I just dig my hand in the 260 bag, grab a handful, and I literally just put it in my pockets. Because <laughs> I, I just use that. So I don't know how that cluster fell, uh, that 16 inch balloon fell out but i just twisted it back into the cluster and i'm lifting that blue cluster up because it was kind of falling and dipping in so i kind of lifted i kind of lift it up and then now i'm adding on this that was a cluster of six balloons i'm tying it on and you guys see that it's, it was sitting right next to it and then i pushed it back so you want to make sure you push those back that way it's not like making it super bulky you just want sometimes the balloons to peek through and not literally sit next to the other clusters so that's what i did there and i'm going to continue to go around add more clusters um to fill it out another cluster that was actually a cluster of six balloons i can like look at it and tell the difference like if it's a cluster eight and cluster six can you guys do that you know people that actually do balloons i feel like i can look and be like that's a cluster there or maybe because i inflated and i know also the shape but yeah i just added a cluster of six there another cluster of six right here and i inflated i had a u-haul this day so i pretty much inflated everything at home um only I probably had to inflate maybe like two more clusters in a quad or something like that, or a cluster in a quad um, for this setup. But everything else I already had inflated, so I was I was able to come and just start setting up. And there, here, right, I'm adding a quad, and I'm making sure I'm tying everything neck to neck that's on the floor. I'm adding a quad there as well. And for here, I am going to do the H method, or I didn't even do the H method. I think I just used a piece of tape to tie it. Um, because I was in a rush for time, I waited till the end because the frame was like moving a lot. So I waited until the end until I made sure, okay, this is exactly where the frame is going to be. And then I went around and added all my rig points on the floor to make sure the balloons don't lift up. So I did something a little different here. And I actually like that. I like waiting till the end. Um, but this was kind of different because the frame was super wide 
wiggly. I don't know. Um, I wanted to wait till I know exactly the position. I didn't want to take something down. Then I had to move the frame because it wasn't center or something like that. So I waited until like now. <laughs> but we're pretty much at the end now and doing everything. So I'm adding, um, inflating um, a quad here. And I'm going to add this to the back part just to flare that out so it don't look like a space in the back. And that's what I'm doing here. And I'm adding some more um, quads right there as well. So I kind of filled that in at the bottom. And this is pretty much the end, you guys. I'm going to start adding on my 5 inches. All of those are already pre-inflated. They are quads of 4 balloons. I used to do three and four, but I noticed that the three you have to use on certain clusters where the four can be used anywhere and it looks just as good as the three. So to work smarter, not harder, I stopped using um, three balloons in my five inch and just use four altogether. It's just, it was easier to do. <laughs> um, no, inflate two balloons at a time and twist it together. So that's what I did. And here I'm adding my pieces of tape so I can make sure the balloons are not lifting up. Um, and I think it's really good because when people like maybe walk into it, it's not going to just move and mess up the whole shape of the garland. So it's really nice to start doing those, you know, the tape on the floor, those different ray points to make sure your garland is not moving around. And then you guys see on the left side, there's like a hole right there between that dark brown and then nude i end up adding off camera you guys will see in the video or if you go on my instagram it's a, a photo on there um i end up adding a quad of brown balloons in the front to fill that in a little bit and i'm just going around adding my mini balloons to fill it out and i added i added two mini balloons on top of where that floral at on the left side at the very top um, because I had some that I, I, I thought it was cute <laughs> it gave it a nice little end to it so sorry guys <laughs> I even noticed when I was editing I would have took that out but yeah so this is how everything pretty much came out don't forget to subscribe like the video and if you guys don't know on my instagram i'm doing these subscribers only now so i do go live with people who subscribe and we talk about these setups a little bit more in depth if that's something you're interested in then come on over but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one